uh, hi everyone welcome to focal academy see this problem here a series or else circuit given here so here resistance given as 1 kilo ohm and uh, capacitance given as 1 faraday on inductor given as 1 henry now asking that how to find current using laplace transform and voltage source was given as step signal that is u of t so whenever asking by using laplace transform means convert the time domain into frequency domain Let's see here how to convert the circuit in the frequency domain. So here U of T is there. So apply Laplace transform for U of T. So Laplace transform of U of T is nothing but one by S. So here voltage is V of S thus equal to one by S. So instead of U of T, this is the voltage. Next, here resistor, capacitor, inductor is there. So convert them into the impedances. So in frequency domain. The impedance for resistance is R only. There is no change, so it be remains one ohm only. Let consider this is Z one. Next Z two for impedance for capacitor. That is one by S C. The impedance of capacitor is one by S C. One by S C is one becomes one by S. So Z two equal to 1 by s yes. next for inductor let consider it is z3 so z3 equal to yes l this is impedance for inductor yes into l is given as 1 so number z3 is yes now here we can easily get current that is i of s here i of t is there we are going to get i of s because I am going to use all frequency domain information. So here voltages Z1, Z2, Z3 are in frequency domain. So according to Ohm's law, we know that V equal to I Z. So V means V of S. So Z, so current I equal to V by Z. Now substitute here. Voltage is one by S upon Z is impedance. The three impedances are there, which was current in series. So total impedance equal to sum of the impedances. That is Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3. That is 1 plus 1 by S plus S. It gives current in terms of frequency domain. That is I of S. Now it can be written as so 1 by S means multiply 1 by S into 1 by 1 plus 1 by S into S. Now multiply S to the three terms. Then we get. 1 by s into 1 yes plus s is cancelled here 1 next s into s s square so it becomes 1 by s square plus s plus 1 but we got current in frequency domain that is 1 by s square plus s plus 1 but we want current i of t so apply inverse laplace transform for this so for that it can be written as Yes plus one by two whole square plus two three by two whole square. Now apply inverse Laplace transform for both sides. So here inverse Laplace transform I of S. So this is inverse Laplace here. So you observe carefully here. Here for S will be shifted to one by two. So shifting property is there here. So it becomes e power of minus. T by two into so for one by two the shift is there. That's why I'm taking e power minus by two. Next it was s square. In that yes, the shift is there. That's why I'm taking minus by two. Now s square plus s square. Now we have the formula that is one by a into sin a. So this is a and let consider as so one by a but one by a means root three by two. Sine of root three by two u of t. So this is the inverse Laplace transform for this function. So observe carefully again. So let consider it is s square plus s square. So for s square plus s square, we have the one by a into sine a. But here s is shifted again one by two. So that will be e power minus by two. So first, I apply the shifting property. Then, standard formula that is one by s square plus s square formula. 
this is the required current equation in terms of ta in terms of time this is the required solution for the given problem thanks for watching please subscribe like share thanks